Oh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Cyril from Tech Dragon Art Info, and today we take a look at the PC SFL 4C. What a lovely name! I'm not going to say that twice in a row. <laughs> yeah, this thing. Oh boy, it's another one of those. <laughs> Let's take a look at the stats. 350 hit points, fairly standard for tier 5, for TDs. The weight is pretty low for a tank, but that's because it has absolutely no armor. HE is gonna wreck this thing. But you'll see that that basically goes for the entire tree, so <laughs> that is nothing new. Shell damage, eh, pretty good. Penetration, great. Rate of fire, a bit lacking. Gun Traverse is 26, which is just standard. I wish they would add the gun arc, so you could see how far it could go sideways. Which, I'm sorry to say, is poor, to say the least. Abysmal, actually. It, it's just horrific. If you look in here, it makes sense. I mean, there's not much room in here, otherwise you would squish your crew members. I guess sit on here, but... Oh man, it's so poor. Yeah, you have to see it. But... View range 380. Yeah, for tier 5, that's actually not bad at all. There's a couple of light tanks that have that, so that, that's pretty damn good for tier 5. Signal range 550. Yeah, yeah. For tier 5, I would say it's adequate. It's, it's not great, it's not bad. So, I can't complain about that. Like I said, the um, engine, pretty good. 400 horsepower for, you know, a tier 5 that only weighs 26 when fully equipped. That's pretty good, actually. But, of course, the most important thing in any tank is, well, except for scouts, maybe, the gun. Rate of fire of 8, like I said, and uh, like I will show you in the video, it, it, it's a bit lacking. Um, not saying it should be higher, because that would make it unbalanced with the penetration and all that, but it feels like you're sort of waiting for that gun a lot. And of course I already equipped a gun rammer, obviously. Penetration 194. Holy shit, that's massive at tier 5. Absolutely massive. You cannot complain about that. Most tier 6, hell, tier 7s are gonna be jealous of that. So that is really good. 240 damage? Meh. Pretty okay. Um, it's not great damage, but it's definitely not bad either. 0.32 accuracy, great. 2.3 seconds aiming time, it sometimes feels like it's a bit long. Especially those first aiming times, you know, when you drive around, you stop, and the bloom is really wide, and it has to zoom in, and it's more than 2.3 seconds at that point, I think. But between shots, it's just fine, because you have that long reload. So... Let's take a look at the shell cost. Shells are pretty dirt cheap. The... <laughs> eh, those are not... Uh, yeah, they're pretty expensive. 11 gold or 4400 silver credits, whatever you want to call it, is pretty steep. And let's take a quick look at what they do. Ooh, you do get pretty insane penetration, though, for the same damage. So you really can't complain about that, but... They're pretty heavily priced, though. The crew... Camo. Um, I'm not quite sure what the camo value of this thing is. It, I mean, it, it's a pretty big tank. I mean, let's compare it to an M4. Uh, that's an M4. <laughs> that is this thing. I mean, that's pretty massive. Ah, uh, uh, crap. The side profile is bigger than the super purging. I mean... This bit is basically covered up. Ah, crap. So the camel value is probably pretty poor on this thing. But since it's so fragile, I think that every little bit of cover you can get, you know, to not get detected is... Ah, crap. I just got kicked off the test server. I'm just gonna finish this up real quick. Every little bit of cover you can find is good, so... Camel training and a camel net and binoculars to maximize a view range of 380, which is, like I said, not bad. So, detect people before they see you, because you don't want to get hit. This thing has 20 frontal armor, 
14 side, 14 rear, no armor whatsoever. Traverse speed on this thing, 48, really good. But, and speed limit is 60, but I'll show you those things in the actual battle. And to top it off, a gun rammer obviously has equipment, so let's take a look at a match. And here we are on airfields, in a pretty tier 6 matchup. You can see the reload time. Um, not entirely sure from the top of my head what the reload time is. I think it's about 6 to 7 seconds, roughly. Something like that. Let's see. It is a rate of fire of 8, so that would be 7.5 seconds, minus 10%. Yeah, about 6.8 second reload time. So, we're here on airfield, and of course I take my sort of favorite TD spot right over here. And as you can see, this thing, the gun traverse, just look at the bottom left of the, the game here. When I'm not in sniper mode. Put one shot into him. So the gun is pretty accurate, but as you can see, that reload is really long. Um, you're waiting for that reload a lot. And he gets taken out. Good, good. Let me pull back, because there are two pieces of artillery. I'm not sure if I got lit there or not. Don't think so, but... Okay, we have a medium in the middle. Can I get a line on him? Nope. Nah, he's behind those walls there. Yeah, the, the gun traverse is excessively narrow on this thing. Or the gun arc, I should say. Take a look. That's it. That's the first I can go to the left. And that's the first I can go to the right. Oh, there. Look on the... What's it? Oop, wrong button. Dang it. Uh, next time it comes up, I'll pause it so you can see it. Well, if you look carefully, you should see some black lines on the mini representation of the tank near the uh, damage modules uh, section. That's where you can see it. But and ah, that must have gone in, right? I think so. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just hoping for somebody to light him up. As you can see, I'm very, very much behind everyone, and that's on purpose because this thing, God, that shot went excessively low. And am I going to reload before he disappears? Oh, barely. Just barely. So yeah, that reload is going to be a beep. Um, you're going to have issues with that reload time a lot from what I've seen. Where you're just waiting and waiting and waiting between shots and people disappear in those 6.8-ish seconds. With Brothers in Arms, I'm guessing you can get it down to 6.5 maybe. Something like that, so, you know, you can get it down pretty far, but that's about it. That's the absolute best you could do with it. And, let's be honest, most people in Tier 5s, unless they're keeping it, are not going to have Brothers in Arms. Hell, a lot of people won't even have a gun rammer on this thing. So, I'm guessing that a lot of people are not going to do brilliantly on this thing. Just for the fact that the gun has such a long aim time. And not aim time, excuse me, reload time. So it's hard to get those shells in. And there is a scout coming over the J line, so I decide to head over there and use this artillery as bait. Yeah, I love artillery. <clears throat> now, we set up here in the corner, and that is it. That's all I can move the gun. It, it, it's insane. I mean, here. Oh crap. Nope, gonna have to move my tracks. But, get a load of this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay. Now, let's take a look here. I tracked him on a hill, and the artillery is down the hill. He does not have the depression to shoot our artillery. I would say that that was the best artillery save ever. <laughs> uh, but, oh, by the way, the gun traverse, this is it. This is all I can see when I'm zoomed in. This is as far as the gun will go. That is so narrow. It, it's probably narrower than the Aero V39. It's probably worse than that one. Which is already incredibly bad. Oh, let's go back. And, yep, he can't shoot our artillery. <laughs> 
Oh, that must have been the best shot ever to track a scout like that. Just teasing him with the artillery right below him. <laughs> oh, he had to be pissed at that point. He was so close and yet so freaking far away. <laughs> now it's time to move up. And as you can see, the cruising speed of this thing seems to be around 40 on rough terrain. The um, speed that they list for this thing is... From, oh, by the way, look, check out this gun elevation. This thing was an anti-aircraft gun. Can you tell? <laughs> I mean, that's just bloody insane. You can be on a forward, downward slope and it still shoot straight ahead of you. <laughs> it, it does allow for some interesting play. If you have like a rock in front of you and a hill behind you, you could back up the hill, shoot and go forward behind the rock again. And here we have the tier 4 version of this tank. And that was pretty much all she wrote. So, gun itself is great. No complaints about the gun. How it's mounted on this tank, however, oh my god, the depression sucks and the gun arc sucks royally. It is so freaking bad. Gun elevation is great, so this tank would probably work better sideways. Because then your elevation would be your gun arc. And yeah. Did they just kill each other? Yes, they did. <laughs> okay then, let's take a look at the stats. So, here we have the stats. This is actually my Master Barrage second class. And in the... Uh, two games ago, I actually got third class, so going down the line. Um, I'm not really having great games in this thing, but uh, how do I put it? Uh, the gun is good, it's just the rest of the tank that is a bad platform for the gun. I, I think that's the best way to describe it. The speed is good, the gun is good, it's just how the gun is mounted, I guess, is bad. Uh, we did 1200 damage, which was, you know, isn't great, but definitely isn't bad. So, we got 600 experience on that one. Let's take a look at the vehicle repair. I only got hit once, so not a lot of repair there. And we made 1400 credits. Like I said, 607 experience. We fired 8 shells of those 8, 6 hit, and 6 pen. So, here you can really see that that penetration on the gun is really dang good. I took one hit and it penned. Well, obviously, I mean, of course it's gonna pen. We damaged five people, we destroyed one, and we got a little bit of assistance. So overall, um, I would say that the gun is great. The engine slash tracks are great. It's just... Uh, the armor is horrifically bad, the gun depression is horrifically bad, and the gun traverse is the angle, you know, how far it can traverse, is bad. Really, really, really bad. I mean, it can traverse like this. Uh, that's about it. it. It really is that freaking bad. If you look at the other guns, there really isn't an option of picking another gun. I mean, this is the gun to go. You know, this is the gun to get purchase this one real quick. I actually don't know if you could have more gun traverse with a different gun. I've actually never tested that. Like, if I would mount this one, if I have more traverse than if I were to mount this one. I'm not sure, actually. Interesting question. Hmm. Um, but, you know, you can see in here that there really isn't room to move this damn gun. So, it's understandable. It's just annoying. <laughs> I mean, the two things I hate most in a tank is if it has no depression and if it has no in CDs gun traverse, like if you have to move your tracks um, very shortly after moving your gun. It just... Perfect example with that scout. I couldn't shoot at him because I couldn't traverse my gun for shit. So... Uh, I'm not gonna like this tank because those really are the two things I cannot stand in a tank. I just hate those two qualities. So, you know... But overall, the gun is good, and if you get in, if you can get into a position where you can use that gun, it can do some amazing damage. But oh, excuse me, I can't say but anymore. Somebody caught on to that in the comments. However, there we go. See, I fixed it. However, 
Um, I feel like the reload time on the gun is sort of long, which means you cannot, um, how do I put it, be in a firefight with someone. You can't take hits and dash them out. I mean, of course, with the HP, you can't take hits, but you just don't have to reload to go after someone toe-to-toe -to -toe because you're going to fire, and the damage on the gun is good, but it's not great. Um, it's 240, so you're going to do 240 damage. I mean, that wouldn't even one-shot this thing, but you're not going to reload fast enough before they reload and shoot the crap out of you. And that's kind of the problem with this thing. It cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything because the reload is too slow. The pen is great. Damage is definitely not bad. I mean, definitely not bad. The reload is slightly long, so that, you know, y you get into situations where you're going to have to maybe take a shot, then you're probably not going to make it. So this thing is best played as a long-range sniper. Uh, that's, like, the only way. I mean, with the accuracy in the gun, 0.32, good accuracy, you're going to have to snipe. Stay far, far away from the action, and you'll do a lot better than... Th this is not an assault TD. None of these are in the whole line. So don't get your hopes up if you're looking for a second Ferdinand line or whatever. It's not. <laughs> but, you know, you have the other German TD line if you want that. So uh, I think it's fairly well balanced. They have one TD line that has frontal armor, or armor in general, and one that doesn't. <laughs> but oh boy, did they hold true to that with no armor. Sheesh. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's my opinion of this tank. Great gun. The, the rest of the tank sort of lets the gun down. Engine is great. Traverse is great. Uh, gun penetration, damage, accuracy, all great. Traverse, terrible. Depression, terrible. So it has a couple of flaws and has some good qualities. So um, I'm not sure about this tank. I'm going to have to do more battles. I mean, it's hard to say on a test server. I mean, really, you know, in most cases, tactics are out the window and all that. So... It's going to be hard to judge a tank just based on a test order. Um, some tanks you can, but tanks that like this that really rely on your team to scout for you and to be in front of you, it's hard to test those. But I think I've shown you a decent example of how this thing can function. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.